Welcome back, best uni crew. It's your girl. So I had already recorded this, y'all, for nothing because my voice wasn't on here. But anyway, I had bought some nails off of Amazon and I bought the, like the little nail holder and all that stuff. So I wanted to be able to make some decals for um, some press on nails. So y'all know my baby birthday is on the 17th my little cousin and i'm going up there to see her hopefully let us see it nothing happen so i want to make some nails um decals with a picture on it so i'm using a dark water slide paper and um like i said i had already did this and my voice went on so i'm re-recording it but i'm gonna just walk you back to the steps so i got some pictures of my choice and then I I did them all different sizes because I didn't know what size going to be what. But I'm happy I did, you know, because the nails are different sizes. So I'm going to detach all the nails for you. I can see um, the size of each one. This one here is one, one, no. Yeah, okay. So all the ones at the top, the bigger ones are 1.02 width and 1.81 height. Now, I did, um, after I put them together, after I sized them, I put them together in a line like this. Then I highlight all of them. Then I go to action. And then I go to attach because I had already flattened everything I needed to be flattened. So I just um, duplicated a copy of this one, which is this one here. Just in case that size work, I have two for each hand. Then this here is another size I did. And these are, let me see, I did the width 0 0.51, the height 8.9. So for each picture, now you got to do each picture that. And then you put them together, you know, side by side. Then you're going to highlight all of them. You're going to go to action and you're going to push attach. You have to save them as a printing cut and you know that. So anyway, I just duplicated a copy of that one as well. The next sizing I did was zero point three seven width and zero point six six height for this little row. So those are different sizes I did, and then I attached them all, and I um layered to make a copy. And there's another size over here I did. Detach. Okay. And they are 0 0.6 width and then 1.6 height. So uh, I put them all side by side. I go to action. I go to attach. And I just go to layers to make a copy. And that's what I did. And then I put them all together. So I can print them all on one sheet. I just line them up all together. Like this. And I highlighted all of them. And I pushed attach. And then, you know, if the warning sign come up or whatever, you know, to make it whatever. And then you just go to make it. And like I said, I'm using the dark water slide paper. Okay. So I got them. I had practice. I was going to do my homegirls, um, auntie. And, you know, I was trying to do the template and everything, but we'll do that some other time. We're going to work on this one now. So, these are the different sizes. I don't know which side is going to work. Okay, so, I got these nails off Amazon. I dropped the link below. And then I got this. I don't even know how to use this stuff, y'all. So, we're going we gonna to have a time with this. I don't know. What I supposed to do with it? nothing. So I know these little things are supposed to sit on here. And then they got this thing here. I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like a adhesive or something to hold them. I think it is though. Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's just some uh this is just some uh adhesive or something to hold the nails, I believe. But we're going to find out, baby. So I got some Kraline Silver Spray as well. Now, 
you have to spray one coat, let it dry for about 10, 15 minutes. Spray another coat, let it dry for about 10, 15 minutes. Spray another coat, I would let it dry for about, mm, I say 30 minutes to an hour. But you know how I am, so I don't know if it's going to be that long, but I'm just telling you what I think you should do. I don't know now. Don't quote me on this. So let's get started. I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to spread it. It's so hot out here, baby. It probably won't even take 30 minutes. Even cold. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it dry. And we're gonna come back and spread it again. Okay, we're gonna give it the second coat. Come back and let it dry. We're gonna spread it again for the third coat. Come back for the third coat. Now we're going to let it dry for about 30 minutes to an hour. So, while my picture is drying, I'm going to try to figure this thing out here. I, mean, I might need to watch a video, but we're just going to try it first. So, I guess these are like, um, I don't know what to call them. They're they like little, what I don't know, like little wax or something. And then... These are supposed to be like your little nail stand thingy. Yeah, see that? I will link it below. So, I think, I think these got some little sticky stuff on the bottom. I'm hoping they do anyway while I'm up here trying to pull it off. No, it ain't no sticky stuff on here, y'all. My bad. The hell, we didn't know. They should have gave us some directions here. So I'm gonna put this under there. I'm just gonna mash that. Then I'm gonna stick it right here. So it's supposed to, I guess. It don't even go there, do it? Okay, Dad, wait a minute. Okay. So guess what? The, the sticky stuff, and we're supposed to put it on one of these things here, I believe, to hold the nail on there. So, finding there that fit your finger. Trying to get up. You know, put it on there. You're supposed to just put it on there, like that. Okay, so this is what it looking like. <laughs> yes. Okay. I got me a bowl of water. And... We're just going to cut some and try to see what they fit, which I hope so, because I'm, I'm going to be sad. Just looking at the big ones at the top, I'm like, dang it, I didn't think that through. But I might still can make them work. Because I don't think these are big enough at the bottom. So... Hey, that's the thumb. Let's see. Yeah, those might be entirely too big. But I probably could still make at least two of them work. For the big big hand. Let's see. So I will probably just put her on here like that. And then I'll probably have to cut the wrist. But we about to find out, honey. Yeah, I know. I had to cut a little So we put it in the water. I'm nervous.
And then this, like I said, this is for dark. I like the um the clear one better to me. That's just my opinion. So yeah, you're supposed to put some on your surface, some water on your surface. And then you're supposed to be able to move it around where you need it to go. I don't know if it's gonna work out right. I'll just try to get it super wet. Don't look like it's working. Video that. So it's not sticking, y'all. I know that's where to cut it. To make it lay down in certain areas or what? I'm willing to try anything at this point. Try to wait one more time. I don't like it. We gotta figure something out because I, I ain't finna waste my paper. Go cuss that girl out on that video. This is not working. Fuck that. I'm gonna try light. I'm gonna try this UV resin on it. This here ain't for me, baby. I'm getting mad and mad about a minute. I really want my baby nail on here. So. Let's try the little nail off. <laughs> Let's try it off. Stick back on there. Stick back on there. I'm going to try my UV resin. I did too much. Let me brush it off so. Yeah, if this work, we don't need no water slide L. Why can you use regular copy paper? Okay, so I'm just gonna. Get my light and put it over it. To the my face because I had it too far up. Sheesh. Had it too far up. Fuck. Just got her smile. That paper. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to hold this little thing. This thing is too little for me. Okay, so I have to. Get a file and file that. I don't know where that nail went. I'm gonna file and file this and cut the excess.
I'm gonna have to watch a couple more videos. And then I'll figure some stuff out because this is not like what I thought it would be. I'm gonna try to put UV resin on top just to seal that paper before I can stop moving it. My hands are sticky. And then I'll try to file. But so far, if you can see it. You see, it looks trashy right now, but I'm gonna play with it and then I'm gonna use UV resin to uh, try to lock the gloss in and let's just see what that do. I feel like some practice I get it but you know this is my first time trying it's the cute <laughs> look at that I messed it up because I ripped that paper right there but then you know I gotta file all that but for the most part it is cute we're just gonna keep going though we ain't gonna give up we're gonna I don't know what I do with the other nail though Let's see, um, let's try the sweet birthday one, a little happy birthday one. people this video all over just won't let me be great but so far it looks like trash but we're gonna make that look better than what it is when we add the uv resin we're gonna use the file all that good stuff we're gonna figure it out it's made it look like covered up the flaw flaw and we're just gonna put the uv light on it and we're gonna file it so far i might have to go back and watch some videos baby because i don't see so, so far, what I'm figuring out is I'm going to have to cut splits in the picture after I put it in the water slide, put the UV resin on top of my nail, then do it because it's just been a struggle, y'all. So, I still got to file all the excess paper and try to make it look a little more decent. Like I said, my first time doing this, if, if, is it something I would try again? Maybe after a little more research, yeah, but... Mm, yeah, it's not for me. Too much work for something I don't really wear. But I, I, you know, to learn it, yeah, I will try again because I would want to learn if somebody else wanted it done to them. But it's just a little, it's a little work done. I still have to file them to um make them look like some nails. <laughs> As you can see, little regular paper everywhere. But I think overall, my first time doing this is actually cute. So, yeah. You see? Cute, right? I just have to file the paper. Let me turn it bright at all. As you can see. Like, you know. So, I got to file. So that's what I'm about to do now. Get me a finger file and just file the excess paper. And hopefully it turns out pretty. Yeah, you just want to file the nail. Just filing all the excess paper around it. Then I'm going to go back and put more UV. Use your scissors and cut whatever you need off there. Okay, I really want to focus. So I'm going to use the UV resin. Make sure I got all the dust off. And I'm just going to coat it again. Hmm. 
Let me use my little nail light to dry it. It's cute though. Now, I don't have them all pressed on, like with a glue or nothing like that. <laughs> so they look a little tacky. But if you did something like that, I wouldn't recommend a whole hand. They look a little ugh. But one or two little pictures will be fine, and the rest of them will be just some fancy looking nails. Yeah. So y'all make sure y'all come in, like, and subscribe. Tell your girl what you think she could have did different. Y'all have a blessed one.